we are back at the truck because Kevin's got to go back out on the road. What you doing, Kevin? Do my light check. And how Turn do they signals, look? Brakes. Everything's good now. Okay, and tell us what you had to do with this trailer. Actually, tell us the whole story of what happened with the trailer you came with. <laughs> Checking his clock, his watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm late now. What? Yeah. Uh, so we came, I came in here two days ago for my reset and uh, my trailer needed a T1 and I parked it here and let them know in the shop and uncoupled and then we went out and got some groceries and did some running around and came back and somebody else was hooked up to the trailer and it hadn't been done yet so that trailer did not get a T1. Uh, and, and then I found this empty trailer so I hooked up to it just so I wouldn't lose it and uh, now I'm ready to go back out and I did the check and the trailer needed sweeping out. It was really bad, and I got a live load. Yeah, uh, tell us what was in the trailer, because I know one of our viewers always gets a kick out of there the was fact a lot that of, this is something you do often. There was a lot of dog food <laughs> in a big pile, so when they were unloading the dog food, they ripped a bag open, and it was all in the truck there, and a lot of broken pallets and stuff in there, so I got it all cleaned up. And this tire was a little low on air, so I started the truck and uh, pushed in the red parking brake trailer air, knob and it filled the tire right up because these are self these are self-filling tires right ah uh, yeah uh-huh so that one was a little low but now it's perfect now i'm ready to go yeah i gotta where, go to work huh? where are you going what's happening I'm going to jacksonville to pick up some crazy stuff and then i'm taking crazy it up, stuff what yeah you... taking it up to kentucky that's all i can say about that what oh is it a secure not allowed to talk about it load right oh those do exist, and he won't even tell me about it. Well, here we are in the land. I sure won't tell your camera about it. Evan's <laughs> ready. We are in sunny, hot as hell Florida. I'm glad I'm going to Kentucky now. <laughs> and uh, just for you DeLand drivers, that know this pothole at the exit it's getting worse and worse even in the car it was pretty bad yesterday it looks like they're fixing it this morning yeah right now they are so you actually can't go out in the out you're gonna have to go out the in i'll have to go out the out entrance the in. <laughs> yeah. in and out in and out uh, also be aware that it's 30 miles an hour to come down the road to get to Edson this Edson road yeah because when we just came down in the car there were three police officers two of them yeah hey two of them pointing their what yeah. i thought was their guns at us but it was their speed reader uh so be aware it's 30 don't come barreling down that nice straight stretch just because you're near the daytona speedway anything else anything else huh? no i think that's enough He's in a hurry. Yeah, I gotta go, man. And if you haven't seen, this is the driver lounge here. Everything in one room. TV, kitchen, cabin, and microwave, microwave laundry. laundry. Yeah, it's the smallest one of all of them, but they it's, are building another one in Lakeland. It's cozy. It's cozy. And everything is conveniently within arm's reach. <laughs> Okay, ready to go. I got a bunch of new messages too that I have to look at. So, uh, did my inspection, everything's good with the truck, lights all working, uh, programmed the GPS's, so I got my route in there, and now I just need the pickup number, which is on here now. All set, food's all put away, ready to roll for the day. Light, internal lights off, okay. Okay, very important. Snacks. Your snacks. Nutritious already. snacks, cucumber, pepper, orange, banana, apple. Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? That means I probably need to reset the battery, reboot the truck. Yeah. Yep, data error, data error, data error. So I got to reboot. You have to what? Reboot. Reboot. Did you just say reboot? Thing 
didn't they have a battery switch where you can reach it on these trucks? I don't think we had that on Kenny Riggs. No, eh? we, there was no battery switch. Yeah, but now with all this electronic dashboard and stuff, sometimes the software needs a little kick in the pants. We call it a reboot <laughs> in the arse. <laughs> Out so, and about? Yeah. In, hey? in about a minute, turn it back on. Hey? Hey. In the meantime, I got load assignment information. You are dispatched on a load to Walmart. Don't be late and don't be early. Even if you're early, it counts as being late. Mm -hmm. Just be on time, damn it. <laughs> That's hard for you because you like to be early. Yes. Mm. Boop, boop. Okay. Over Jacksonville. Phone numbers. Overnight parking. Live load. And writing it in his smart little book. Where he keeps all the information. Yes. Let keep it close at hand. Kentucky. Gotta be there day after tomorrow. Pickup number. Shh. Delivery number. Shh. Good. And let's see if this thing will run. miles on it so far with no problems right yeah because a lot of viewers were concerned that you would have a lot of initial problems because it only had like 300 and some miles on it yeah well there's that reboot thing that happens every now and then and the uh, lane deviation warning system is not working but I'm not going to go into the shop just for that so next time I need some work done on the on the truck we'll get it all done at once the lane deviation isn't working anymore right it worked for a while yeah and then yeah. it just stopped right after you got out of the truck yeah it stopped working i think it has something to do with you <laughs> someone has to be sitting in that seat for the truck to be balanced enough <laughs> and then uh yeah oh, is that why you keep your ankle weights on this side yes here? And I'm not yeah. on the truck. Gotta throw a couple of dumbbells over there and we'll probably get as good as gold again. Alright. Alright. Everything I need to know. Time to go, hon. Okay. Tell us why you were here in the land on your reset, which by the way, thank you very much to your asset manager for making that happen. Yeah, it got me here for my just for my reset day. I'm not here for home time because I haven't been out long enough, but uh, we bought a house, so we had the closing yesterday on my reset day, so we were able to run around and take care of all the errands and stuff and sign all the paperwork and walk through and, and uh, plan our future in our new home. So And move the RV. And move the RV, move dust to the RV over there, so uh, Tanya can sleep in the RV while we get some work done on the house and before we move the furniture in. So uh, now I'm going back out for a couple of weeks and when I come back we'll, we'll move in officially. Yeah. yeah, so pretty exciting developments here at the Joy of Trucking. Yeah, we're very happy with it. Yeah. All right. You want to um, do, the, do, the, do the concluding dance and then I'll film you pulling out because boy it's nice to watch Ramble and Rose. She's gorgeous and she looks very clean right now too. Yeah. And you've made some upgrades. Want to tell us about your two upgrades? Uh, what did I do? Well, you put this, you put this thing on. Oh, I got a, oh, oh, I got yeah. a steering wheel cover. <laughs> You're already so used to it. Yeah. <laughs> it just adds a little grip and a little, a little mass to the wheel. So uh -huh. it's, it's like you're, you're holding something bigger. Yeah, and it's fancy. It's yeah. got like fake wood, fake wood look there yeah. on it. Very nice. And, and I put some, I put some cheap hubcaps on just on the steers because it 
it just looks ugly with those those dirty hubs and you know the big the big vacant space at the center of the wheel around it so it just kind of fills it out nothing flashy nothing huge or you know no no 12 inch spikes sticking out to cut people off at the knees and stuff like that <laughs> just just something to make it a little a little smoother you know yeah and it's aerodynamic i yeah. think the company should invest in those <laughs> or at least the appreciate truck. it that you, you've got them yourself yeah, yeah. and we hope kirk appreciates it i know he yeah, likes a yeah. good looking a good looking truck so that yeah. does add a little to it so nice job and I'm sure Ramblin' Rose is very happy about it. And I do want to say you saw her namesake this summer. Yeah, I saw my grandmother Rose. She's, she just turned 101 uh, in the first week of June. So keep on trucking, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can put your comments and questions below. And hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Remember, you can buy us a coffee with the link down below. Or if you come into Crete, <laughs> please remember to use our referral code SLOKEV, S-L-O-K-E-V. Well, actually, that's Kevin's referral code. But anyway, hey, have a great day. Thanks for joining us with love from Kevin and Tanya. And stick around. We're going to show you the beautiful truck pulling out of the Deland Terminal. <laughs>